Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are here in Kaer Morhen. Beautiful, breathtakingly beautiful Kaer Morhen. The place where we started our journey in the first Witcher game. Even though I never actually finished the first Witcher game, I do recall Kaer Morhen. It's a very, very memorable part of that game. This beautiful castle that they decided we should abandon. But luckily, we've come back, and it is just so much more beautiful than in the first game. We are doing a couple of quests here, trying to find Ciri. The point of the game is to find Ciri, and we've been doing it for a long, long time. To do that, we need to do two more quests. Help Yennefer and help Lambert. And because I think any conversation I have with Yennefer is going to be fairly awkward, we are going to be helping Lambert first. Talk to Lambert about journeying to the Circle of Elements. Let's go see what that's all about. I remember this place. I remember this place very, very well. Yeah, they had a new bear fur over here. I don't think that tanning rack was here last time. I do remember helping Triss in the first game. Triss was injured and I had to brew a potion for her. They taught me how to brew potions. And here is Eskel. El yeah, we helped Eskel last time. We helped him take down a draconid or a, uh, a fork tail. We helped Eskel take down a fork tail last time. What are you looking at right now? Hmm. Impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking. Stocking, but I finally dropped the son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Ah, you bookworm. Good luck, man. Good luck. Or, actually, let me have a quick look at it. Mind if I have a look? Want to do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. <laughs> Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw? Yellow dull teeth, missing its upper front teeth, lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. It's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit silly that I'm holding that apple in my giant mitten. It seems so silly. Open up its guts now. Open its gut. Let me know if you smell formaldehyde. So, anything interesting? Uh. Bits of undigested food, a few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Wanna give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. Yeah, let's not mention Yennefer. No, thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. That's not giving us any insight into why it's so quick and fast. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? Huh. <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. You just put some anti oil on your sword, right? That's what I would have done. Maybe use a couple of decoctions. All right, I think we've thoroughly examined this thing. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one, experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See ya, Eskel. Nice talking to you. And, uh, thanks for helping me take down that forktail and steal its spinal fluid. That is one of our three tasks done. Lambert. Lambert is over here. What are you doing, Lambert? What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. 
says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Well, then you better go do it. You don't sound too happy about it, though. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? I'm ready. You're gonna, are you going to teleport us? Are we going to be going through a portal? I'm not excited about that, but I'm ready to go. No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten, that. Sabola's breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. <laughs> Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Oh, hey now, I like this place. It is a nice touch that they didn't finish patching the hole from the first game where that giant insect burst through. We were attacked by the salamander assassins. <laughs> it's a nice little ben, callback. Thank you. Are you gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow, never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in, then scoop up whatever floats to the surface. Huh. That makes sense. I told Zoltan we used bombs. It wasn't a jest. They didn't believe me. Shit. Too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Yep, boost me up. Oh, you fat fuck. It's not me, it's my mittens. My mittens have gained One, weight. Two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go. Deeper and deeper. Oh, don't fall off that way. Keep poking around. Keep poking around. See if we can get through the cave. Or maybe we can find more crafting ingredients. Honeysuckle. No, not what I'm looking for. Is that old splinter? That's old spear tip. Just lost the element of surprise. Hey, I got an idea. Let's take out this giant. Wouldn't be the first one I've taken out. I felled him. I have felled him. I got the killing blow. Sorry, Lambert. You were just too slow. You gonna live? Uh, probably. Let's get out of here. Oh. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Yes. Well, let's not get cocky. We can take down a giant, but we can't take on an army of trolls. We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Which us is to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Hmm. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Idiots, you say. One of them sounds fairly intelligent. We just want to pass through, honestly. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say? Thing two do. Thing three do. Sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? A real penchant for diplomacy he does have. Mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. This is all on you, Lambert. You're never one for... <laughs> Lambert, you are just the worst. You are just the worst when it comes to diplomacy. Never open your mouth again, please. Three of them now. Let's talk to them peacefully. 
We work those. News goes no far more. Which is this? Understand it? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witcher Sea Castle. Rock Slotfler. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. Actually, hold on a second. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll rock troll. Witcher see strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher, good? Over you. Witcher says monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face make. I've got an offer for these guys. Um, we do go this. You shop back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. Hey, as a gesture of good faith, yes, we will do that. All right, we'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Ugh, metal. Mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. Yes, Lambert. See? Look, they're not attacking us. We're not attacking them. Now we're all going our separate way. It might make any combat in the future more difficult, but I think you're gonna like what happens afterward. I can already tell this is gonna be something good. They want the... Tr they, they're talking about the rocks. They're talking about the rocks at Kaer Morin. I think we might be able to invite them to Kaer Morin because with our walls destroyed, these guys might be able to help protect the castle. All we have to do is reach a peace agreement. Come on, Lambert. Let's get this over with and then come back and maybe we'll even have an extra ally. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Your memory's shit. They only kill harmful monsters. They threw stones at us, Geralt. Whine about it to Eskel later. Just a few steps more and we're there. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. You sure you don't want to attack it? Because you like attacking everything? Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. Light the torches. That'll be the easy part. Fire goes everywhere. Phylactery has been placed. Yep, that was the thing I've been carrying around all for right. a while. Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So... How'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Really? How did you use Axie? Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow, that's pretty dark. That's not the fun story I thought it was going to be. Wow, truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No, I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. You really do hate being a witcher, don't you? Think it's that bad being a witcher? Guess I could have been someone worse. Just a shame I had no choice. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. 
He'd knock a few back, then beat me and Mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of Neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? You. Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Now, sounds like he actually did you a favor. Know what? Let's get out of here. Don't like what you're hearing, huh? Witchers shouldn't talk like that. Know what else you won't like? After the trial of the medallion, I rode straight home to thank my daddy for everything. Want to hear what I did to him? Lambert, please. Thought we were opening up, having an honest talk. But fine, let's continue pretending everything's just peachy. The road beckons, my good man. Our companions await. Such a sourpuss. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother. Wait, what did we just do? Was that all we had to do? Let's put our phylactery up there? Okay. Witcher's is his sharp back club takes and home goes. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, Geralt, let's go. I'm just gonna talk to these guys for a bit. You go on without me. You go ahead. Gonna stay here a bit. Hmm. Not too long, though. Remember, we got ourselves a cripple to cure. I like Eskil better. Rock Troll! A moment, please. Yeah! Oh, yeah, yes. That's the thing that happened. Rock Troll, I want to talk to you. Yes, 500 experience points. Maybe that'll push me over to 25? Character entry updated. Lambert, he's still a prick. You seem to be having some problems. Hey, trolls, what's up? Rock troll? Rock troll. Rock troll. They're not in a talkative mood, sadly. You mind if I take this? That's 21 orins. Not really useful. These rock trolls are honestly not in a talkative mood. They are not talking to me at all. Which is sad. I thought I'd be able to talk to them a little bit more. Maybe convince them to join me at Kermorin. But if they don't want to talk, then fine. I guess I'm going to go back the way I came. I suppose it's time for us to bite the bullet and do the final part of this quest by talking to Yennefer and helping her fix her megascope. I don't think I have any other things I can do around here. Maybe I can find Triss. That'd be nice. I heard Triss was coming here, so she should be here somewhere, right? Maybe. Up the spiral, spiral staircase, and... God damn it, you piece of shit! Sounds like Jennifer's having trouble. <coughs> Damned crystal! Hey, if the crystal's cracked, don't use it. You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Especially dull ones. Look, I'm warning you, if it's a cracked crystal, don't use it. I've seen the effects. You'll be torn apart to shreds. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Yeah, well, I've done everything else for you. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby. Generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Okay, I'm curious as to who you're going to contact, but something tells me you're not going to tell me who, because that's just who you are. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? 
First off, stop pouting. Second, no, it's no secret. Ida Emian, remember her? Nope. How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> Your sorceress friends, the sage and not-so-sage, they've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. Hey, I got rid of Sheila. If that's what you're referring to. What do you need my help with? Alright. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. A divining rod, right? Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Don't worry, I'll be back. Find the source of the magical disturbance using the Protest Inquisitor. Okay, let's just equip that. Got it equipped. And it'll squeal, you say. Hmm. Nothing here. Then let's move on. Probably somewhere else in the castle. Warmer. I found it. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in that crate? What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. Just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. I will entertain the freak. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Yes. Thought so. Uma. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Okay, Vesemir, you have fun Nothing with Uma. Here. I'm gonna put that away. Eskel's over there, Lambert's over there. I still haven't been able to find Triss. She said she was going here, but maybe she'll show up later. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? Or he didn't care, because it's Lambert. You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednel Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynglade? Salutations! Uh, Cade Mill Ain Save. I hope that's something polite I'm saying. Ked Mill and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elaine, Ked Mill Foli. Gled of Dawn Eptenid Bondro Isne Iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. 
All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. All is ready, so I don't have to gather the triangle or anything? No more fetch questing? We're ready to break the curse on Uma? Good. Good. Let's do that right now. Listen, everyone. I'm ready! All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Okay. I'm still looking for Siri. The clock is ticking. Don't take this the wrong way, Vesemir. But clock's ticking. I ask only one night's delay. If nothing comes of it, we'll do what Yennefer wants. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn. With Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Okay, Vesemir. You seem to have a pretty solid grasp on what's going on around here. If you've got an alternate plan, then go for it. I take it Yennefer is not going to like having a taste of her own medicine. It doesn't feel good to be left in the dark now, does it? So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Let's play Gwent. Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Yeah, you're already a couple of mugs in. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. Ugh. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Oh, I don't like this. Drunk words are sober thoughts, and I don't want any sober thoughts bubbling to the surface. How's it been going, Lambert? Anything else happen? What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Carradin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense, get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. Huh. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Hmm. I might have spared the troll myself. Could have spared the troll. <laughs> to eat roots and sleep in roadside ditches? I needed the coin. And not a soul mourned that troll's passing. Let's raise a mug to his memory. The least we can do. Remember the troll's memory, huh? Alright, good enough for me. How about you, Eskel? Probably been doing less renegade things than Lambert has been doing. Eskel. That catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Did you get the vampire though? Come on, get to the meat of the story. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. 
Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. I guess it's my turn to share. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? It's a gross troll. What do you want from me? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? I was afraid this conversation would take that turn. I thought Triss would be here, honestly. Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the Trial of Grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! She said the Trial of Grasses! Or glasses. Something like that. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a Witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. Interesting. It'll be the first trial in years, apparently. I guess we're just not, not making witchers anymore. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert especially. But the hour is late. Nice conversation, everyone. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Yeah, yeah. Sorry Lambert was kind of an ass. You know how he is. It's just who he is. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Eskel got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. Guess we're getting drunk tonight. Against Jennifer's wishes. We're gonna have a massive hangover in the morning. It looks like I'm gonna be drinking for a bit more yet, so I'm just gonna take a break here. Next time, we'll finish drinking with the guys, and then maybe we'll perform this ritual on Uma and try and find Siri. We'll pick up the trail after we've knocked back a few. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been The Witcher 3. Thank you for joining us.